Donnie and Dolly. The team is supported by ableauctions.ca. Closing your business, we can help. Thursday, as mentioned, today's guest brought to you by the Vancouver Giants. Giants kick off their 2023 first round playoff series in Kamloops tomorrow night. Our next guest knows a few things about that. They return to the LEC. Game three, Tuesday, April 4th, 7 o'clock. Game four, Thursday, April 6th at 7.30. Get your tickets now at VancouverGiants.com slash tickets. Joining us now, Vancouver Giants majority owner, Ron Toigo. Ron, uh, long time no talk to. How are you, sir? Yeah. All right. How are you guys? Good, good. good. Uh, just before yeah. we get to talking about your team, uh, yeah. what about your old head coach? What are your thoughts on Dean Evison's success at the NHL level with the Minnesota Wild? You know what? I'm thrilled for him. Uh, Dean, you know, he, he um, certainly paid his dues. And, uh, you know, he's one of those guys that, that really hung around for a long time in, in, in the, the American Hockey League. And, uh, once he got his opportunity, uh, he grabbed it and he's really run with it. And um, one thing about Dean, he's he's a player's coach, and every one of those players uh, go through a wall for him. And uh, he, you know, it's one thing um, the the coaches that played the game uh, know what it's like to be a player, and uh, and I think that that's one of the reasons he's had success that he's had because he certainly hasn't had the lineup that some of the uh, yeah. You know, with some of the bigger brands out there have, and uh, but he has a, certainly has a buy-in from everybody in the dressing room. Yeah, and and one loss in twenty-one, uh, one regulation loss in twenty-one uh, games, yeah. and, and Ron, that's a lot of that's without Kirill uh, Kaprizov. All right, your team, the Camels Blazers finished with one hundred and three, one hundred and three points, thirty-nine more uh, than the Giants. It opens up on the weekend in Kamloops, that first-round series. What gives you, and the answer might be Everett last year, but what gives you hope you can upset the Kamloops Blazers? Yeah, we think we're in a lot better shape than we were last year because uh, we, we, now it's only two versus seven, so we're uh, moving up the scale, to get, so we're improving our, our uh, position. But, no, it's, seriously, it's, it's going to be a challenge. But um to me, more of, the, more, more of it's about how our guys play and how our guys react. Uh, we've got five guys rated in the NHL draft that um, uh, really have a lot to play for and, and that all be back next year. So uh, what they're going to learn from this process uh, will, will, will you know, certainly uh, bode well for us in the future. And um, you know, hopefully this is the last year that we go into the playoffs as an underdog and we expect to be uh, pretty successful after this year going forward. Ron, at the trade deadline, you traded your captain. You got seven, eight pieces back. Kamloops sent 13 pieces to get. Can you see yourself someday with a shot at the Memorial Cup giving up that type of four or five first-round picks for a player? No. No, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't, Why? Uh, because it's, it's so damaging to your franchise. Um, you know, look what Edmonton's going through now. Um, but... Having said that, I, w I would do an aggressive trade, but uh, I wouldn't decimate the, the next five years over it. Uh, and and I don't think Kamloops has. Um, uh, but then you look what Winnipeg. Uh, Winnipeg, they don't yeah. Have a draft, they don't have a draft pick for five years. I yep. mean, uh, that you know, now now they do have a lot of assets they can trade next year and, and get some of those picks back. But, um, you know, um, you can load up all you want. That's no guarantee you're going to win, and and you know, and the more new pieces you add, the more chemistry changes, and and, and whether it's going to work or not. And um, like if, if Seattle goes out uh, against Kamloops in the conference final, which is a very strong possibility, you know they they've really traded away a lot of their future, and they're going to lose a minimum of ten guys out of that lineup yeah. next year, and it's a long time coming back. I mean. Um, we, we did it to some extent and finished in first place for five years. Uh, and then and then, and then try and get back to that. It, it's hard. And you, yeah. whether you have the first pick overall, it doesn't really matter. It's, it's, it's a, you, have to have the, you have to get to the point where uh, there's an expectation to win every, or have a chance to win every time you go out there. Yeah. And when the players look around the dressing room and, you know, and, and you know, We've done it. We we t trading our captains away both years. Last year it wasn't such a big deal to us because we felt we had the personnel still to compete, and they showed up in the playoffs and um, and made a difference. And and 
you know, it's a couple of bounces. We probably could have got by Kamloops and carried on. Um, this year, the offers just got too stupid not to not to move on them. And uh, we really didn't want to trade Chucky. He was a big – he really, you know, ran the room and, and, and made a difference. And it took us probably a month or so to get over that, which was unfortunate because I think we would have got out another six points and played Portland. Uh, I think we could have beat Portland in the first round. You know, like, I think we would have felt really strong about it. Uh, I'm not saying you can't beat Kamloops. If we can come up there and get a split, then the guys start believing and anything can happen. But uh, we we really like the group we have. We really like that um, pretty well most of it is, is, is able to come back next year. And uh, next year we think we'll take a huge step. Ron, there was rumors in the past few weeks about Winnipeg possibly moving to Chilliwack. I mean, if it ever did happen, it could affect you. You might have to approve that. What about these rumors about Winnipeg moving to Chilliwack? What can you tell us? That they're just rumors. I don't think, uh, you know, until something actually comes to the Board of Governors to look at and discuss, and nothing has been brought forward for our discussion to this point. So, um they definitely have challenges. The, the, they they aren't in a building that they expected to be in, and have challenges with their building they have there. But um, as of right now, uh, I think the plan is for that they'll be there next year and, uh, and hopefully come up with uh, a solution to whatever what their building issues are. All right, Ron. Before we uh, let you go, I'm looking at your shirt there. <laughs> Are, are you heading? Down, are you heading down to Seattle? Uh, Mariners in Cleveland, seven o'clock start. You got time yeah, to get down there, yeah. don't you? Yeah, no, uh, it's too cold this time of year. But uh, <laughs> Blue Jays, go, go Jays, go Ams. Yeah. I'm looking for a, a Jays Am uh, yeah. American League pennant final. Ooh. Yeah. Well, Ooh. you had a playoff series last year. It didn't last that long, but you yeah. had one. Well, they never played in Seattle, though. That's true. That's true. Yeah, because of the because of the strike, yeah. so they didn't yeah. have enough days no, to do it. But that, that, I think it's a it's a strong possibility. They're both uh, they're both going to be teams to contend with this year. Yeah, uh, uh, I agree. Ron, thanks for this. All the best against Kamloops. Thanks, guys. All right, and and, and congrats to ex Giants head coach Dean Evison.